Okay, the two-handed backhand. How do we get consistency and power? Well, let's start off with consistency first. Remember, <clears throat> when you hit the ball, you're, you want your racket straight up and down, vertical. It doesn't matter if it's Roger Federer or Joe Smith that's holding the racket. If the racket's vertical when you're hitting and it's moving from low to high and you're vertical in that hitting zone, there's a good chance you're going to keep the ball in the court. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so that's key. You want to be vertical at contact. Now, how do we do that? Well, you have to remember that when you bring the racket back to hit your back, your two-handed backhand, okay, you come back, if the racket is not slightly closed, and that means the racket face is facing down slightly, okay, let's say your racket is straight up, okay, if your racket's straight up, what happens right now, my racket is straight up, as I swing up to hit the ball, it's naturally going to be open. That's going to send the ball long. And people that typically do this, they're, they're saying, okay, don't worry, Tom, I'm going to flick my wrists, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just at the right millisecond. There's you know? no more consistency. <laughs> no, no, the consistency's out of the window. So what you want to do is close up the racket face as you come back. Now, my racket face is tilted down here slightly. Now, from here, as long as I swing low to high, I'm going to be vertical in this contact zone or contact area for about a foot to a foot and a half. So that's 12 to 18 inches. My racket is vertical in the hitting zone. That's how you get consistent. So we'll show you a little drill you can do to really help your consistency. Okay, here's a great drill that you can do. Use the fence as your contact point. So right here, let's say, is where Stephanie's going to hit the ball. Okay, so if that was her contact point right here, she has to be coming from a low position here, at least a foot lower. So now swing up slowly, Stephanie. See, she hits the fence vertical. That's what's going to make you famous, being vertical when you're hitting the ball. That's key, with a racket moving from low to high. So. And my racket is really closed right now. All right, her racket's closed. Now remember, this point here is one foot lower than this point. This is slightly higher here, about a foot higher. That gives you net clearance every time. Hitting in the net is the number one mistake worldwide of tennis players. But you've got to get to the point where you rarely hit the ball in the net. And this is the key right here. Just getting low and then a low to high swing and being vertical when you make contact. Now, how do we get power in our shot? Now, Stephanie has a two-handed backhand. So what would you say, Stephanie, you know, what do you need for power with your two-hander? Um, as a lefty, I have to use more my right hand. Okay, so... My right hand is doing most of the work. Okay. So that hand is trying to be fast, like a fast racket head speed. It's just pushing way more than my left hand. So it's always the non-dominant hand for... Right-hander, it's the left hand that has to do more. Okay, so the non-dominant hand, in Stephanie's case, she's a lefty, so her right hand is going to be doing more work. That is absolutely key if you want to develop power with your two-hander. Um, what else is there, you think? Um, on all your strokes, you, you use the power in the legs. Okay. The power comes from the legs. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's serve, forehand, yeah. okay? also volley. Right? You try to transfer the weight into the ball. Okay. Yeah. The weight is on the back leg, and then when you start hitting, you transfer the weight forward. Forward, and then 
you go forward and up, and that gives you more power. Yes, absolutely. Power comes from the ground up, so you've got to use your legs. Not only to lean into the shot, but as Stephanie mentioned, you're also coming up with your legs. That lifting with your legs is going to give you more power, more depth on your shots. So, those yeah, are... And the body, yeah. If the body goes forward, all your body weight goes into the ball. So, yeah. that gives you more power. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine you go back on the contact point. You're just stopping the ball, basically. Yeah. If you lean forward, you give twice the power. Right. Okay. All right, so those are the basics for your consistency and your power. Now we're going to demo those for you. Stephanie will demo them. All right, here we go. Stephanie, I want you to actually work on your consistency right now, okay? So let's make sure the racket face is a little bit closed. Okay, watch here a classic example of lifting a low ball over the net with your legs. Okay, right there, too, you can see Stephanie is bending extremely well. The racket face is closed, which guarantees vertical at contact, one of the keys to consistency. But notice how she lifts as she hits the ball. That helps get the ball over the net. Good. Okay, again in slow motion. See the racket face is closed as she brings it back. Okay, right now the racket face is closed and Stephanie's weight is more on the rear foot right now. She's going to transfer the weight into the shot. Now the weight's on the front leg and the rear leg comes around. That's key to power. Okay, from a side view you can see the racket's closed as she brings it back. Okay, the racket's closed there, and again, it's clear to see the weight is on the rear foot, the rear leg. Now, notice how she, how she transfers the weight into the shot. Okay, watch here. The racket's closed as she brings it back. See it right there? It was facing down slightly. Now, the weight's on the rear leg. She's transferring right there. That's the moment of truth. Her right hand is doing more work. Stephanie's a lefty, so her right hand, her non-dominant hand, is doing more work right there.